Robert. Morgan, and I agree with you. Space is really key here to what I call Bezos 2.0. He's got a new partner. He's got massive new homes in L.A. and New York. He's got a new fitness regime, a new wardrobe, new social causes. Jeff Bezos has, as you mentioned, been reinventing himself well before stepping down as CEO. Remember back in 2018, he met Lauren Sanchez. She's the former TV news anchor and helicopter pilot who has since been at his side for almost every high-profile trip. He's taken to India, Wimbledon, yachts in St. Bart's, Oscar parties, fashion shows, and that meeting with the French president. Bezos bought David Geffen's Beverly Hills estate last year for $165 million. He also spent $96 million on a collection of apartments in, uh, at a building in downtown Manhattan. And he just finished renovating his mansion in Washington, D.C. That he bought for $40 million with a net worth of $197 billion. Bezos says he will spend more time on the Bezos Earth Fund. That's where he's pledged $10 billion to fight climate change. His day one fund, he's pledged, pledged $2 billion for that. That's aiming to fight homelessness and launch a lot of new schools. Blue Origin, Morgan, which you guys have talked about. And then the Washington Post, where he's very involved now in finding a new executive editor. As he said in his email yesterday, I've never had more energy and this isn't about retiring. I'm super passionate about the impact I think these organizations can have. And Carl, one thing is for certain, at 57 years old, Jeff Bezos is not done innovating. That's for sure. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.